Today, we are going to talk about how Airbnb's brand versus search bet is actually paying off. So I'm going to read a couple of lines here, Neil. This is from the Wall Street Journal. Airbnb, I quote, has made major changes to its marketing strategy in recent years. The company in 2019 began trying to depend less on search advertising and to lean more on broad marketing campaigns and public relation campaigns designed to build its brand. Just a couple more points here. It also made deep cuts to its overall marketing spending. In the first quarter of 2021, sales and marketing expenses fell 28% from the quarter a year earlier to $229 million, citing a decrease in performance marketing expenses. So overall, the CMO or their one of their executives that says, our brand marketing results are delivering excellent results overall with a strong rate of return. So what are your thoughts on this, Neil? No, I, I think it's spot on. Any big company doesn't want to rely on SEO, social media, or anything. The way you really truly succeed is you build an amazing product or service, which creates a great brand in the long run. I remember I was doing marketing for Airbnb years and years ago. This is way before they went public. Their number one search query was their brand by far. And at that time, most organic SEO traffic was funny enough coming from their brand. I believe over 90 plus percent at that time. They were doing a ton in pay-per-click ad spend, but their SEO was mainly their brand, which is why I was brought in. And when I look at the the whole thing when it comes to SEO or paid advertising, you know, it's like look at Nike. Nike is one of the, you know, gold standards of building an amazing brand. You know, six, seven X more people search for Nike than shoes on a monthly basis, at least in the United States. You want to create an amazing product or service. That's how you win in the long run. If you look at all multi-billion dollar companies, it's not SEO or pay-per-click or Facebook ads or you know Instagram posts or TikTok or Snapchat or any of these platforms that make the company. It's their brand and creating amazing product and service. And that's the only way that you're really going to win in the long run. Yep. So what I'll say at a high level, I mean, we've always cited kind of the Eric Schmidt quote on how the internet's becoming more of a cesspool and it's really the brands that are going to rise to the top. And I'm paraphrasing. But ultimately, when you think about brand, it's that's about demand that's demand generation. That's demand creation, right? That I should say that it's, it's demand creation. What you see with search or performance marketing, that's more demand fulfillment. But when you are like a Logan Paul or a Mr. Beast or like an Oprah, for example, you have this massive brand and you have this influence and people are searching for that instead because a brand tells a story, right? When I think about Coca-Cola, I think about, you know, that time when I went to McDonald's all the time on Saturdays and, you know, I was drinking a Coke while this old man would give me the, the Happy Meal toy, like every single Saturday, right? Like a brand tells a story, a brand and the story evokes feelings. And Airbnb, I remember a lot of great experiences with Airbnb, you know, at the end of the day, that's that's what it's all about. It's it's And then when you, by the way, when you create a brand, it's also like it, once it becomes a verb, like I'm just going to Airbnb it or I'm just going to Google it, then like the the word of mouth starts to spread even more. Right. So we think it's it's smart. We think it's we think most companies want to go in that direction, because if you're just going to pigeonhole yourself to focusing on what's already there, you're basically already behind the eight ball. Right. You want to get ahead of things. So look in your marketing. Yes. Leverage social, leverage search, leverage you know, email marketing and SMS and all the channels out there and go omni channel. It doesn't mean you shouldn't use them but really focus on your product, your service, your community, and really focus on delighting people so that way you can build a long-term brand because that's the way you're going to grow in the long run. All right. Don't forget to rate, review, subscribe.